When we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight I love it! Look at this swag! I made them. I made these shirts for us. That's what she did when she was quarantining. I had so much downtime in the past couple of weeks recovering, so I did a lot of projects. The doctor orders outdoors. We're at Blue Springs State Park. It's close to Orlando, Florida. We've been here before and we couldn't wait to come back because, y'all, there are Manatees. We're gonna have to figure out our water setup, so we definitely need something in the camper so we're not always having to fill up with the jugs that we have in the truck. Yeah, why don't I tilt? Okay. I love this collapsible kettle. It's a plug-in, so it's electric, and we don't have to waste our propane. Aha! The shirts are cute on you! I love it. we're gonna have some rich chicken bone broth that I made. I just threw in a whole chicken carcass and threw in some celery, some garlic, and some carrots. And we're just gonna sip on that tonight. We got a pre-made salad. I love some of those pre-made salad. It's from Publix. And we're gonna have some of that broth. Easy peasy. First night of camp, we like to just like take it really easy, relax, like not have a big agenda. Cause tomorrow we're gonna be cooking it up. We're gonna be going places, not really too far, here. And we're gonna just be filming more and we're gonna be having fires and stuff and we're just wanting to relax for our first night. Like the whole point of this camping is just to kind of like reset and see what else we need for the setup. And to make some delicious food because we're gonna be making some delicious food in this video. Some turkey. <laughs> Look at his little tail. Can't taste or smell anything, by the way. <laughs> this is a good sign that I can smell it a little bit. Can you smell the coffee? Really? to have one of these toothbrush cover protectors on my toothbrush because we go so many different places that I feel like it keeps some of those germs out. It's not like it just stays in one bathroom. 
Ah, my mouth is minty fresh. I'm just learning how to keep everything really tidy, so it's like adjusting from being in a house to having to put every single thing that you use up. Um, I'm gonna get good at it. I'll get my little routine. And I'm looking outside right now. Can't wait to show you what Juliet's is doing. It's like the most amazing camping morning thing ever. <sighs> Feeling good, oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go. Ready? Come on. Let's go. Now we wake. Birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have Let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right the future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no more oh. Winston had his breakfast, but he needs... Oh, it's a pork pearl. <laughs> I've been calling it pork roll. You want a treat? Yes. That's a good boy. Shake? Good boy. Say multiple times a day, it's so funny to think about all this that we're doing and we're in the bed of the truck right now. It's so weird. It's so wild. I cannot believe I was in the bathroom last night like, I'm just in the bed of the truck and she's like, wait, I'm in the bed and I'm in the bed of the truck. This is crazy. <laughs> That's a big bed. <laughs> I'm sticking with my purely inspired greens. These are the medicinal foods, mushrooms. I combined all three of my mushrooms into one container just for traveling purposes. I mix them together anyway, so I'll put about that much. I haven't used this bad boy in a minute. Mm. It's been a long time, camp stove. We're wearing gloves for this one. If you haven't caught on yet to what we're making, we are cooking up some scotch eggs. That'll be a proper English, Scottish, I don't even know what it is. Is it, is it as the name implies? Is it a scotch egg or is it an English thing? Instead of pork sausage, we're gonna be doing turkey sausage just to make it a tad bit healthier. How's it coming, darling? Yeah, we're chopping up some scallions really fine. Mmm. We're gonna add in a little bit of chopped up jalapeno. You know, I feel kind of dumb for not knowing that Scotch eggs, where they're Seems from. Like they'd be Scottish, doesn't it? I would think so, right? It's called Scotch. But who knows, you know? Sometimes <laughs> names are deceiving. Yeah, so I was actually craving this again. I've had it. I had it like a few weeks ago. We actually went to Islands of Adventure where the Harry Potter Wizarding World is. All of my Harry Potter fans, just drop a comment down below. When I was younger, I would go like four times a year to the Harry Potter world. When I mean younger, I mean like 22, I wasn't that young. <laughs> and they had like a whole English style like charcuterie board and scotch eggs was on it. And they're really good, but when you just have like one, cause me and my sister were sharing it, it kind of leaves you wanting more, I have to say. So for just a little bit of sweetness, we're going to grate in some apple. Checking in. Hi, baby. Ooh, looking gorgeous. So we have this. I'm gonna take these off real quick and I'm gonna get my soft boiled eggs together. What can I do to help? You can 
clean off this pan a little bit. Now we're going to take this one, we're going to pat off all the excess flour, we're going to roll it around in this egg wash, we're going to throw it in the panko, we're going to get all this panko all up in there. Wow! Look at that. <laughs> Wow, that looks delicious, doesn't it? <laughs> Just needs a little bit of hot sauce. Yes, which we have. We're gonna try this new Italian hot sauce. It's called Casa Ferrelli, brand new. I always think it's good luck to open a new hot sauce. And we have some egg for Winston. I had one extra one that kind of exploded. <laughs> and it's like a yolk cup, look at that thing. Let's That's see. so cool. I already let him taste it. Mm. Some Italian hot sauce on here. Oh, it's thick. Let's see how hot it is. I know, right? Mmm. Wow, it's delicious. It's got is Calabrian it? peppers in it. Okay. Okay. Let's look up. Is it scotch? Right. Where is a scotch egg from? England. See? England. <laughs> I was wrong. Mmm. Is it nice? It is so good. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm really digging the flavor of this. It's like all in one breakfast, huh? Mm-hmm. Mmm. Delicious. So the things I would do differently, I would use pork. I think pork has a little more substantial form to it. And secondly, I would boil the eggs for maybe a minute or two longer. They're very good runny, and I want them to be runny, but it also makes it really difficult to handle them. So until I become a pro at this, we're gonna boil them for a little bit longer. You like it? Mm-hmm. I do. It's Is that your favorite thing? I would never pick meat wrapped in an egg as my favorite thing. Mm -hmm. But it's very flavorful and good. Satisfying. And it's English. Did y'all know that it was English? Did you think for some reason it was Scottish? Is Scotch Scottish? Oh yeah. Now I'm questioning everything. Guess we're wrong. Blue Springs is a safe sanctuary during the winter months for the manatees. It's a refuge from the colder waters of the St. Johns River, so they congregate to this area during the winter months. Although it was pretty warm while we were there, there wasn't that many huddled up. I did want to show you some footage from when we visited a year ago, and we were able to swim with them. So here's that footage now. It's probably one of the most memorable, incredible experiences of our lives. We did finish the day off relaxing and chatting with our friends. It's truly special to be able to share these experiences with people you care and love about. I'm actually gonna make myself a chicken quesadilla. How about that? Ooh. I think a funny thing about living in this kind of life is you really think about every single dish you're using, <laughs> how much water you're consuming, and how much work you have ahead of you just by cooking a simple meal. It definitely helps to simplify your life, I have to say. It does. And to have way less waste, too. It does. A little unseasoned chicken for waste. Mm -hmm. Just a simple little quesadilla. Can't go wrong.
It's a new day and another glorious morning in our truck camper. We absolutely love it. We've gotten a nice little schedule organization system down. We're really feeling it and we're able to really get a good idea of stuff we need and stuff we don't need. Right now we're doing something different. We are seasoning something. We're not seasoning food. We're not seasoning our cast iron. We're seasoning our brand new chalkboard refrigerator. So this used to be brown, not cute. So we use chalkboard paint on the whole front of the refrigerator. We thought we could use this for notes and you know, fun little sayings and quotes. So, but first, because of you all, because of your comments, we're gonna season the chalkboard. A lot of you wrote to us saying that if we don't season the chalkboard, that whatever we write on the chalkboard originally is gonna stay there forever and won't come off. So we did some research to how to do this. And all I'm doing is using the side of a piece of chalk, going up and down, to like coat it with the chalk so that it has a base coat and our words won't stick and they'll be able to erase, you know, like a chalkboard. We would have never have known to do this if y'all did not tell us. So thank you very, very much. Look at this chalk holder we got. Does that not remind you of being a little kid and your teacher's writing on the board and you just want to hold this so bad and write on the board yourself? Well, now you can be a 33 year old and do it your own self, look. Cost all of four dollars for this. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one. We're Honey I Roam, and we love you.